Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Uh, it's open mic. Links in the right hand side. Just need to click on it. It'll open up a new tab and uh, you can join the show. Um, we got some, uh, I don't know, I guess holiday related gifts uh, and then a uh, um, problem, I mean, a uh, uh, technical issue gift, uh, which we're we'll talk about later, but we're, uh, I think, much appreciated. Um, let's say hello, everybody. Saint. Good day, everyone. Welcome. I'm Derpy. Not sure what the uh, gorilla is, but whatever. A gorilla. Yeah, you'll figure it out. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, well, let's move on. All right, we can skip bug fixes. We have gotten a, a lot of good ones recently, but uh, we got a new calendar. Um, <clears throat> we pillage next week. Um, it's going to be lionfish, and do we know? No clue. I wish they would put that information on the calendar. But, uh, you know, because it seems important and useful and salient, but um, we don't yeah, and because we can't have nice things. Yeah, and it seems like there's probably enough lionfish. Is, it depends how long the names are, but yeah. yeah. Couldn't you just add garrison and assault, garrison and siege, garrison and skirmish? Yeah. Um, so we've had the Ravager one twice now, I, I believe. I think so, yeah. Yep. So what came after... Um, after Ravager, Skirmish or Siege? Probably it's probably Harbingers in Pillage now. Okay. You think? Okay. Probably, I reckon, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Which is going to be interesting. Um, we're going to have... Uh, I know some people are having... Uh, especially the ones that are using free fleets are having a good amount of difficulty with To the Flame... Um, a lot of the same prizes are going to be available in pillage, I assume. Um, maybe you can get them there if your your harbingers are a little bit better than your ravagers, but I don't know how that would happen. Um, and then we have the, the raid, uh, which we will uh, talk about later. Um, we got some release in the uh, um, uh, CM Diary. And uh, high ground is for why? High ground is ever something. It's yeah, it's, based, it's, it's, um, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Why? I mean, there's really no reason um, to have that one available at this point. Um, base force that doesn't have the turret tokens in. Does it, it might. It might. No, that's that's hold the line. That's hold the line. Is it okay? Yeah. Which they've gotten rid of and replaced it with base force. Force. Yeah. So. Which is a uh, a rather difficult one to be running with the yeah. Rate. I haven't I haven't even done hold the line or whatever the new one is. Base force. I I don't do it. It's not worth my time. I, I uh, guess it's not so bad in the raid because at least you oh, yeah, got you half, got, you got half repair. So yeah, well you've done. I thought you did do it, Derpy. I did it the first time. I did not do a single encounter of base force last week. Okay. But now that it's half repair, does that make it more tempting? Well, potentially. I mean, we get base force again. Jeez. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we have a new FM. Looks like another three weaker. Um, <clears throat> VXB weekend. Da 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 da. Heavy metal TLC. You haven't seen that before, right? That's going to be the one for the no. What is that for? I don't. I don't know what that is. Don't know what that's for. Yeah. Yeah, that's a new one. Because we're not getting a new ship in the raid, so. It's for the mutator. <laughs> <laughs> Let's hope not. <laughs> Everybody will have a mutator. Or for uh, mega ships. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they've come out metal with alloy, a new... metal alloy. <laughs> Up, upgrades for mega ships. Yeah. Yeah, oh God, don't get them started. <laughs> <laughs> yep, yep. Take your take your mega ship to X one. Uh, yeah, mega ships. Uh, I would be quite surprised if they came out with a new TLC for mega ships, but you never know. 
Um, and then we have to the flame again, which we'll talk about a little bit later, um, both for players at X1 and for ones at, at U0. Uh, Tear in the deep for more lionfish tokens. Uh, maybe they'll change it. I don't know. Because uh, right now it just includes build tokens. But what we'll are get... you hinting at there? Yeah. <laughs> and um, pillage again. So, yeah. Two pillages in a month. Well, it's not really in a month. It's the it's December 1st. So. Okay. Um, well, now we're actually... When the next calendar drops, we're going to be ahead. Right? Well, I don't trust him <laughs> not to fuck it up in the meantime, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, okay. All right, let's move on. All right. Uh, this dropped, uh, this is in the CM Diary. I didn't have much time to uh, jazz it up in any way. I don't know if it needs it. but Or, uh, or correct it because it's wrong, but whatever. Oh, it's wrong? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, because I was surprised. We talked about, well, X1 Swallowtail upgrades, we expect um, they'll be released the uh, in the update before the raid. And in the pre-show, I was really surprised to see Lionfish upgrades U1 to X1. Is that the problem? That's the problem. Yeah, okay. it's just updated. It's U1 to U3 now. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was surprised that, you know, I was surprised they went all the way to X1 um, right away. And I don't know really how they structure it, but it seems like they ought to release like U1 one month and then two months later, U2. No, because U1 takes like all four days for the entire fleet. Yeah, but at least that way they can make the um, targets um, to the level of our fleets. Yeah, but you you one's really not going to give you much either, probably, is it? Ten percent evade or you, you're not really going to give you ten percent. Ten percent projectile speeds will make your your countermeasure still zero percent effective. Ten <laughs> percent range. Who knows what it's going to be? It's interesting to see what they do. It's going to give a cloak time. It's going to make it a submarine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Um, invader plate EV10. So I'm assuming that's going to be a uh, D6 EV, uh, a uh, uh, evade and um, combat speed armor for the invader yes, to make those attacking ships a little bit stronger. As long as it has a one second repair time, I'm fine with it. Well, I do not use D5 EV, I took it off my exterminators and put nothing on instead. Yeah, and I don't understand why they didn't make this one Defender Conqueror. You know, considering oh, they, why, you know, all our defenders move at this point, and they need evade too. And if it is, you know, one second, you know, they're further screwing people. I guess it's a good, good you know, I'm assuming you've been hit by a, uh, I got hit by a... Um, I've been hit by one four exterminator, one mutator fleet. Yeah, I got hit by the uh, abomination. Yeah, me, me as well. Abomination fleet with me, Tata. Yeah, I'm assuming they didn't go well. Uh, no, they, they got in. <laughs> yeah. Oh, they got in my base quite easily. Yeah. <laughs> Half health left. We don't we'll have to check. Let's see, uh, let's see, forty, fifty-five, fifty-three, fifty-two, seventy-five. So yeah. Fairly easily. Um, what was I? I? Destroyed one, and then I had 55, 88, 55, 47. So, yeah, still reasonably easy. Mm -hmm. And they used a rocket to take out a couple of my whiplashes as well. So, uh, that was really what hurt me because it meant I only had one left. Oh, we talked about, um, as far as the whiplash, we talked about it on the Wednesday show, and, and um, um, Pegleg didn't mind doing base design and redesigning his land. What are your thoughts on? <clears throat> I threw out two ideas because, um, at least for me and for a lot of people, I think the the whiplash requires pretty extensive. Unless you have one of the three or four base, you know, land layouts, um, 
it takes a, quite a bit of land moving around to create. The it property. takes a little. I, w- I wouldn't say it's a lot. Well, um, I, mine, I'd have to rip it down and put it back together, basically. Personally, I'm, you know, and I haven't been asked to do that. Um, but the idea of either one of the two, either, well, one of the three, A, leave it the way it is, where you've got to, you know, like I said, I would have to tear down my base and start over. Um, so I, I find, I guess the walls aren't as bad any, anymore as they used to be, but, um, I, I find putting the land together to be one of the most sort of tedious, um, parts of redesigning a base. So leave it as it is. Or the second thing is have them preload however they want to do it five different land layouts not not the you know you know not the turrets not your buildings but just the land layouts or create a uh, uh, a share system uh, a similar nature to the turrets or the ships where somebody can just send you a code and it'll load your the land the same because you you can you can just peek somebody's base and see what it is and then it takes, you know, however long to recreate that. But it's already, you know, available knowledge. It's not like it's hidden away. It's yeah, not funnily like enough, hidden away secrets. Funnily enough, you're the only person to have brought up this issue. Only person out of the three of us? No, out of uh, anyone I've heard of in, in, in entirety bring up the issue of land being too tedious. Oh, um, people like it. I, I don't. I don't. I don't know. think it's a big issue as you think it is, but whatever. Okay. I don't. I don't. Personally, I. I haven't redone my land in I don't know three or four years because it's just annoying. Um. So you forgot how much fun it is. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so saying you, you like moving your land around. Uh, I'm not a big fan of completely redoing it. I only make minor changes to mine now. Um, yeah, having some well, having a quicker way of placing the land rather than each individual one. If you could do it like a wall, just drag it down the side, and um, would would make would be easier. Sharing a, a blueprint would be good. Yeah, yeah, because you can um, already get it. I mean, it's just a matter of you know, even if it's your worst enemy, you can go in their base, take a screenshot, and then recreate yeah. the land. So but it's you, not like you're giving away secrets. No. So it's the other thing I find a bit frustrating is when you're placing the land, it obviously has a countdown of how many tiles you've got left. But well, it doesn't show you. If you go over, you've got no idea how many you need to delete. Uh, <laughs> so it would be good if it had something like you've placed 110 out of 115 or however many land tiles we get, rather than just doing a countdown of how many you've got left. Because I, I often find trying to do a, a design that I need to delete one or two to get back to the number. Yeah, yeah. Uh, remember moving walls in the old day before base planner. Mm-hmm. I, I remember the days where, where you could, you know, you could completely seal off your base, and until they figured out that's what people were doing, and then I remember the point in time where you couldn't create channels because before we had the double slot, the double piece of land. That's the reason that's there, is because if you were trying to start or end a channel if you did it with one it would you know once they started to fix that issue of just be able to make a you know a huge moat of land around your your base then the next problem became if you became you know too close and you like your channel is too narrow there was all sorts of yeah there was all sorts of problems throughout time um yeah so uh draconian ice wall which is going to be the new reaver firewall i swear to god i just put in my reaver firewalls yeah. I, to, I just spent the points on those you got two in now have you um i mean, you know my my warehouse capacity is not high enough to actually put it in for free for all base parts so the second one will be in about a day or two yeah. yeah, I've got two portals at that level. I'm I'm still upgrading my second one. I've only got I saved all the tokens, bought a bunch of bounty, yeah, stuff like that. So yeah, yeah, I've been doing the other stuff, and I wish after seeing the, uh, I wish I knew the mutator was coming out because now it's going to be much more difficult to build a, 
or upgrade a portal. So, um, so yeah, everything's going to be new targets. So uh, we're going to have a uh, S, X, and Y. They just need to put an E target in there, right? Yep, yep. We'll call it the three <laughs> if we won't let you do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, that, that'll be the suggestion. So the uh, they did this before, didn't they? Yeah, not, not, yeah, not with the e yes, target. Yes, every the, every first raid in the cycle, we get a we get the wide target. Is that what you're yeah. asking? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, or the matting in the e target, one or the other. So, um, how does that work again? So every first raid in the cycle, this is the first time we're using the swallow tail. Oh um, yeah, 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 they're gonna have the old one in there. Old, the old, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah okay. So whatever one we just use to punch the Damocles. Okay. All right, let's move on. All right. Um, to the Flame um, is your current way to get the Death Moth UAV. Um, again, like we were sort of t uh, talking about at the beginning, if you were having, if you think you're going to be able to do things easier to get the Death Moth and you're really, really struggling with To the Flame, um, you probably only need to get 36 to 37 death moths. I don't think from what we've seen, I don't think you can get away with two, uh, MDS threes. I'd go with 36 death moths, death moths on a fleet of four or a fleet yeah. of five. I'd go with four counter measures. Yeah. That's what I'm going to be doing. Yeah. Although I only need what eight times four divided minus two. Eight times four minus. Yeah, okay. I need thirty of them. Okay. So yeah, you, yeah you're only going to go with two on your four ship build at the moment, Turpy. He's going to go with I four. Mean, I'm just going for four ships, right? Mm. But you you said minus two, so you're only going to have two countermeasures. Oh yeah, I'm at minus four. Ships. I need twenty eight. Then yeah, I need twenty eight. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you're asking. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then next week we're going to get the flag swallowtail, which they're still calling the menacing swallowtail. Um, which just doesn't make any sense. There's no alliteration. Who's seen a menacing uh, butterfly at any point? I don't know. Okay. Well, besides maybe the one in Silence of the Labs. That was sort of menacing, right? Which is the death well, the death head moth. So yeah, maybe that's what they're going for. That's all they're doing all their uh, butterfly research on uh, by watching Silence of the Lambs. So um, okay, that's where you can just grab things up. Well, let's move on. All right, the to the flames TLC. We'll go through this, and um, I've seen people complain in Facebook forums, Discord, that um, people can't even get through Price Pack One. Or I mean, first, like, first encounter in Price Pack One. Why? Yeah, that's not true. <laughs> with the with, with the free ships. Well, my third favorite moderator got through the first four encounters with the first four ships. So, um, okay. Pirate with the Forsaken mission ships. Pirate bot? No, no, he's my number one. Okay. Well, a swallowtail kite is a bird, common in Florida, a very beautiful flyer. Um, it can swoop over trees and just sort of stand there. I'm feeling familiar with that. But with everything else that they're doing, uh, with the pipeline and the uh, death moth, I think this is like closer to the tiger swallowtail. The eastern swallowtail, eastern tiger swallowtail in the U.S. that you would see, especially if you take a look at the the gold and black colors on it. So um, I think it's a butterfly in this instance. Um, um, but geez, well, let, let's keep on moving with to the flame. Um, <clears throat> the surprising thing I had not been doing this Ravager set uh, before uh, when it came out last week. 
I was right you and I got 25 hours of damage on price back one. Yeah. You uh, you can't auto um number 4 if you were wondering. <laughs> yeah, yes. And the surprising part is the, to me at least is that all the all the price backs including the mastery round are 2 hours as opposed to 1 hour, which I like. That that's nice. Yeah, yeah. It gives especially people that are struggling with it more time or the people that don't like to you know, boom, 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 play, yeah. you know, um, for an hour straight to try and get stuff done. Even though I did prize pack one right before the show, I got that done. I still had 52 minutes left on my um, Sea Serpent crew when I was done. So it can, at least the first prize pack, they don't really start getting longer until later on. Um, prize pack three, some of those last couple of encounters do take a fair bit of time. Yep. Especially if you're trying to be careful going in and out of the clouds and that as well. Mm -hmm. the, more, the more careful you are, the less damage you take, but the more, the, the longer it takes as well. So, uh, and, and you tend to get the damage on either ship one or ship five. Mm -hmm. So by having that two hours, you could put one of the ships in for repair for 15, 20 minutes or something, just to give it a bit more, a bit more life back in if you are struggling for the last target or something like that. Yeah, and ship one takes more, but what I what I did after the third prize pack, third or fourth prize pack, I took ship number five and made it ship number three. Great, yeah. yeah. You know, made that swap, so, because you know, I knew it was going to get more damage on the fifth ship just to, just to even things out a bit. Yep. Um, one more click. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, 18 hour repair I, I, okay that means you lost your fleet and then repaired it or back. used the second one the 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 kicks i use zero one yeah yeah lego how did how did you do get 18 hours of repair that's just not good driving oh uh, well he may he may, may not be at the maybe right taking level. lessons from me we'll see <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah my driving is fantastic so <laughs> Yeah, unless there's some red rings, and there are red rings, but you know, which, but they're not, um, they're not ones that you could easily run over. They're either on you or they're not. But, um, yeah. um, we get the drone battery, um, which is fairly comparable to the penetrated battery. Um, no, one of five. Oh, you took 18 hours to do all five of them. I think you know, one of five run through for mastery. I'm not getting that. Um, okay, so um, <clears throat> the drone battery is new and they dropped. Uh, okay, I got one full run through and ended up 18 hours. So one, one master round. Yeah, okay, 18 hours. But how, how did you? Did you repair back or did you use the free fleet? Because I'm trying to figure out if you use the free fleet. Yeah, I don't see. Um, I don't know. Um, but basically, one more click. The things that dropped out of this, I forgot to add the Terrace um, countermeasure, whatever. And hydrophobic warheads are not included. Um, probably because you can also put them on your lionfish. Um but they're very useful to have on your um, very useful to have on your uh, swallowtails. So will they be in, will they be in pillage though? We assume so. They were in last pillage. Yeah. The probe of warheads. Yeah. So that's a well, place. and the terrorist defense system. So yeah. <sighs> Wasn't free fleet. I did wait one hour repair to the last stage. So I, I we still have trouble figuring out how that adds up to eighteen because my my um, Ravager fleet fully dead is twelve and a half hours of repair. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, well, price back three. I did four. Uh, wait, wait, that was ah, my game's not loaded. I think it was five hours. It was at three and a half hours after five encounters, but then. I completely forgot, you know, 
and it was just chaos in that last encounter in Price Back Three. This yeah, well, you need, you need to keep staying in the clouds, and then all the ships on the outside go back to the outside. Okay. You don't have to engage all of those ships. You don't have to kill all the ships around the outside. Okay, you just need to, even in the TLC. Even in the TLC, yep. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was um, strafing them. <laughs> <laughs> I lined them all up. Did we have all of that uh, free water before up above? Uh, I can't remember if we had as much as there is in the in the TLC, but I think there was some, but not huge amounts. Okay. That's more, hours, like so. That's more like it, Liga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was wondering where the extra hours came <laughs> from. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I, you know, the way I did it, because I completely forgot hitting that target historically, so I sort of grouped them up into a line. I was trying to get them into a ball, and then I went to that back, you know, big area of water, and then you know chase them one let them chase me and then i just came back basically right across them maybe probably the wrong strategy and then basically tried to splash and um splash them all and uh you know a good percentage of them died that way yeah it was much easier to deal with the rest of them after i did that so what encounter was this one it's prize pack three encounter six all right but the, I may be able to appears, show that in a few minutes. And then I think okay. it appears as point, um, on the mastery, they take out one of the earlier ones, so it becomes number five in the yeah. mastery round. Oh, it does become five? Yeah, they take it. Because I think in that prize pack three, you do the same target, one of the same targets twice. Um, okay. you, do, you do one of the same targets twice in prize pack one Two. as well. Yeah. Okay. But then in the mastery round, they take out that double double up, and huh. well, just... mastery round they just take out. Oh, that's interesting. So yeah, well, that that, we'll that tricky target is the um is is, price, is target five. Okay, uh, Derpy, how long until you would be on that one? It's going to be about ten minutes, fifteen minutes, maybe. Okay, I'm trying to figure. Uh, Say, do you want to try and just see how use this free fleet for the first? Yeah, use one? the free fleet on. Well, you, you, yeah, on the first, in, you know, the first encounter or so until Derpy's yep. ready, because I, I think it's probably more pressing for most people is to, how to how to do that. Uh, the last target that we're going to see. I'm just going to. Some reason I can't share Opera anymore. It's bizarre. Um, let me just load on. Yeah, it'll be one second. Okay. So that what he's going to show is the the free fleet through however many encounters until Derpy's ready. Uh, we're just trying to figure out what these targets are tuned for. Um, that's mostly what this example is about. And then Derpy's going to. Um, whenever he's ready with that, is he's going to show us uh, the last sort of uh, sort of frenzied tons of ships target. <laughs> that's the last target in Prize Pack Three and the Mastery. All right, you're back in. Yeah, so mastery two hours as well. Yep. <clears throat> Which I like. So you probably know. Okay, so you have a repeat. So you're still getting the first one. <clears throat> the first encounter. Well, we'll have to see what it looks like. It's kind of hard to... Yeah. They're labeled differently in three different ways in the game. So it's uh, difficult it. to, to see sometimes. No, this is the second one. This is the second one. So the first this one is... Oh. Well, no, it's the third one. It's the third one. The third one? Doesn't the third one have the... It, no, this is the third one. Clouds? In the... Well, maybe just without clouds. 
So in in yeah, there's, there's first, one there's, in price there's pack one map in price pack was... one you start in one that looks like this. In price pack two you start in number two. In price pack three you start in number three. This is number three. You can tell that because it says a number three in the top left. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Right. All right. Well, in price pack three you start in number in number. Um, wait, wait. You already have. You're already like what? In price pack three, you start number two. So in this one, you start number three. So in mastery, which is four, you start in three. Yeah. It's a little bit confusing. Yeah, I can't really see your health bar up there. It's covered by other stuff. Yeah, it's, it's, it's if you go full screen, deep. you can see it. But he's taking a, a little bit. No, of I'm in full screen. I have other stuff on my screen with, you know. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, you're... It's already taking some. So I'm wondering if these people were trying to auto it. We'll see. Because, you know, I guess we can't re exactly replicate what they were doing. Now, I will say that, um, you know, if, um, if prize pack one is target number one, two, three, four, um, one and two are easier, in my opinion, than three and four. So, yeah, four is and I think definitely the four most. Four is four is a really hard one. If that's the next one yeah. you hit and you you barely make it through, you might have still been able to do the first two. Yeah, four is I, I don't think should have been included in price back one. Yeah, it's tricky. Well, you know, price pack one is doesn't really give you anything, and no, it's, and you know, it's it's you know, it's probably sort of um, you know, I'm not sure what those people's reaction to it, they can't get through price pack one, you know. Well, I'll tell you, last week when I I tried to auto uh, target four, and I die with my X one fleet, I went and bought the the free one from the Forsaken mission. Mm -hmm. I drove that kind of lazy because I'm like, oh, the target's half dead. I should make it through fine. Yeah. Wrong. I barely made it through. And when I lost two fleets to, to prize back one, I, I said, to hell with it. I'm not doing a single another encounter in this TLC. And I'm not playing the game the next three days. Okay. And that's what happened with, with last week. Okay. It. Uh, I mean, why would you, if you get kicked in the teeth, why are you going to go back and Put your face in front of the teeth again. You're certainly not going to be able to do the whole thing with this this fleet. I'm going to have lost more than half a fleet by the time I finish this one. And that's with trying to kite these properly as well. Yeah, but this would be the last two. Yeah, if you can, yeah. you know, this one and the next one would be prize pack, the end of prize pack one. One, yeah. Yeah. So if you can make it through these two, maybe, you know. But I don't see you making it through the next one with this fleet. Uh, I don't know. We'll give it a go, see how far we get. But Yeah, I would expect, because, uh, you know. But I guess there has also been quite a lot of upgrade tokens as well. Yeah, but... The fleet that's given out of the Forsaken Mission should be able to get at least... It should be able to do this whole TLC, I think. Uh, I'm not you sure know, if should was, do the mastery ones, but yeah, it cert certainly should do the earlier They should part. be able to get you, the, get you the ship to start building it, you know? I think, yeah, you're talking about price back one, right, Derpy? I don't know what I'm talking about. It should get the one that has the ship in it, at least. Yeah, that's price back yeah, one. Yeah, price back one, yeah. Yeah, you just haven't got the firepower. Probably because you're running all those normal weapons, it's not split weapons. Well, and there's also 10 countermeasures on this, which are useless because oh, I've got God. a decent countermeasure special on because you can see the wind. Oh, God. <laughs> I've still got something alive. What's still alive? Oh, that one. Sin. Two thirds dead, so there's no way I'm going to do the next one. Well, unless you take really good advantage of the clouds. Clouds, yeah. All 
Are there any? Oh, yeah, there we go. Yeah, they appear afterwards, yeah. Yeah, I remember this one being fun. We had it down to basically. You can see this up there on the water. It's there, either on the water or certainly in the base. Yeah. You could do these and then you could swoop across the bottom here. Yeah. Well, after you've cleared some up the top. but Yeah, because you can go in there and hide in the right spot and take out those. Yeah. Yeah, and then you come across. You can go and, in and, and one thing for people is. If you see these, um, the red um, arcs, is uh, try to cross over it earlier before you stop in the clouds. Because yep. if you if you just beeline it from point A to point B, and it's firing at you because it's a one second delay. If it fires at it one second later, um, it's sort of hard to explain. But if you if you make it if you spend longer time in that red aura and cross over, um, it'll start firing at you earlier. So when you stop in the clouds, there's a, there's a much better chance that the uh, orange ring is not going to be where you are because it's fired earlier and it has a, a good amount of reload time. I'm not sure I'm explaining that at all correctly, but... Um, You're getting pretty good so far there with grabbing and actually killing stuff without getting shot at too much. Yeah, that's what, that's, I'm, I'm trying to be as careful as I can just to see if we can realistically. Yeah, because you see how, you know, he's, he spends some time in there and then basically... He waits to get shot at when he's at least the diameter of the red ring away from his intended spot of stopping. Oh, that was... Uh oh funny. Oh, got you there. I would have dipped out further left and just taken a few turret shots instead. Because those rings hurt a lot. Yeah. Well, that one should die now. Now I think I'm going to have to... Uh, I can probably go and take this one out. Yeah, that little missile turret next to it might kill your flag, which is... I'd pivot left, not right. But you gotta stay moving here. This one is sometimes a mistake going over. Ah, I got the ship moving. Oop. Okay, right now we've got to go around and run the gauntlet. Good luck. <laughs> Yeah, I don't think I'm. I don't think I'm going to have the firepower to be able to kill stuff as I go past it. No, I hardly do with my normal one, and even shift clicking on the right turrets. Mm. Yeah, and it's a good point. Shift clicking in, in this with the Ravager is much more important than and because if um, you fire three, at least with my build, if you fire three shots at something, there yeah, goes the flag. There goes the flag. You're already maxed out on DOT. Yeah. Yeah. So, because you're. Well, if you can grab to... that little control building right there, the blue one, will make it easier for you to come finish that with your X1 fleet. Yeah. I mean, those, everything here just takes a really big chunk out of your health. Yeah. Even those little, little small missiles, those ones, I'm I mean, scared. they, if they hit, they do a lot of damage. Oh, now that's coming there. Oh, yeah. it's coming in the cloud. <clears throat> They take chunks out there. Yeah. yeah, so I thought I did a reasonable job to start with, so doing price pack one is going to be almost impossible, I agree. Yeah, you didn't take any corrosive damage, so. Just 12 and a half hours. All right, if we're up with more Ravager driving, I can... Um... Okay, I can up. go through the what number number six in in uh, mass in price back three. Is that what I'm on? I'm on mastery. Okay, so you're, it's the last target in both price yeah. back three and the mastery, where you have yeah. all the ships. I don't uh, remember this one. To be by. honest. Yeah, remember. Uh, look at the big line of ships. Outside. Oh God! 
Yeah, yeah. No, I don't think I remember this one. Wait, if, we can just kill the priority targets. You don't have to kill those ships. Yeah, no, you yeah, don't yeah. have to kill all those ships, no. But, yeah. And the more you stay in the clouds, the more they go back to their position. So, uh... I'm just going to... And just I gonna forget what it. triggers them. It's something. Is it when you uh, hit the blue... Um, the ships no, it's that probably untrad. the 14-minute mark. No, I, I don't know, maybe maybe it's time based. I you know maybe it was just coincidence when I when I unshrouded the uh, the whatever we call them enforcers, hulks, pancakes, whatever. Um, then they started to come for me because it's thirteen fifty seven and they're not moving. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they are. They're they're moving. Well, you, you just hit the. You also just hit the blue building. Well, I haven't killed it yet. Well, I, there's that's another, I there's another blue building down the bottom as well. Bottom right. I'm not really trying to use the clouds here. I'm just running through and shooting at things. But as uh, the saint was saying earlier, when you sit in the clouds, they return to their their pre you know their previous position as long as you're in a cloud where you're not getting fired at by something else well you're why you're not getting detected with something else that just has standard detection yeah yeah these guys don't matter oh man these so what what are the priority ones the one with the the ones with the whatever fog cutter stuff. If they they it doesn't matter if they can see you or not because they always can. Okay. Now I'm trying to figure out what the completion is. Killing all the priority ships. The little these guys. Okay. Make sure it's some buildings. This is not actually a bad target to be honest. You just have to be kind of smart about it. Which, uh, my complaint relative to the other, it's, it just seemed to take a long time. I mean, it's been three minutes and it's almost done. No, it's not. Well, it really depends on, you know. It's been three minutes and it's almost done. Well, yeah, if if you keep it, you know. You know my problem was I was not keeping them uh, all the ones at bay. I was killing all those ships on the hmm. outside because otherwise, if you if you don't keep them at bay, it's you're not even close to being done. I killed all those ships on the outside as well. I don't know why you did that. Because I can hit this thing in however long. So, so you like, you decided to to make it more work for yourself. Well, you know, it's been how, oh, man, we how got long, this how long was in. this a target ago? It was six. I don't ago. remember when it was a target. Yeah, you and you don't even remember hitting it, but yeah, but besides, no, I don't, I don't remember. Yeah, hitting besides that. the advice of Saint, you probably would have done the same thing. Well, no, I remembered actually. I, I, I remember the priority targets, the end condition for it. So, all right, there we go. Battle's it over. It's not. It is. Yeah, it is. No, it's not. All right, took a big, healthy <laughs> chunk of corrosive damage. Yeah. Okay. That's press back three. For reference, I was at six thirteen, so I took an hour fifteen minutes damage on that target. Yeah. Eight so. and a half for the TLC, which is not horrible, but I guess I just got to do this thing five more times. Yeah, and again, we got uh, five four hour uh, repair tokens. Yeah, I just used two of them actually. Okay. Um, so, um, Saint, are you, uh, you want me to share again the slides? Well, well are you hitting the target or what was, what are you up to? Um, I just finished that number two. So yeah, if you wait 30 seconds, I can um, go back in and hit target three, if you like, so people can have a look at that. Okay. So I'm trying to think what we might've missed out of. Uh, hey, Saint, that base layout looks kind of similar to mine. 
it's you said this before, Derpy. I've had the same one for about four months as you now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, I think well, I everybody think I has. Yeah, my third I, portal I, I, I think I think you know ninety percent of the people in the game have some. Or well, they're all running a different one. I haven't seen too many like these ones. Okay. All right. It is uh, interesting. We still have the Kickstarter employee bases out. They were supposed to despawn about two hours ago. They're still out. Yeah. I didn't even realize that. I just assumed they were meant to be despawned twenty-four hours ago. Well, they were supposed to go through three. It was supposed to go through three p.m. on Thursday, so it was extended oh, to yeah. on Friday, which was two hours ago. Well, they probably all have gone home. So, yeah, maybe it's still they show up in the morning. Mind you, it's quite frustrating. There's only actually one quartermaster target this month. That's really annoying. I have been hitting the 165, though. But I mean, one quartermaster target? I mean, it's only, a, only a 124, I think. Other okay. people are. You're in mastery. What were you doing right now? Mastery level three now. Okay. Which should say not. number seven on it. Uh, well, it says number five. Five. I don't see why these ones just come straight for you. It's as if they can detect you. But that one can't. Uh, don't do that. So again, just trying to use the clouds as best as possible here. I can't reach that one. And annoyingly, you can't reach any many of these ones either. Yeah, they're uh, they they give you the illusion of being able to save damage, but it doesn't really work out that way too well. So I just try and kill a couple of them and then stay out of range while they die. Yep. And then do a similar run past. Oh, I activate the ship. That's all right. We go. We well, got that clouded one after you. Yep. So I'm going to run around. So. Can keep a bit of distance and go and kill some of these. Ah, you went in the cloud. Okay. 
You should die. Should be able to go and hide in the cloud for these two. So are you running um, half and half on your armors, or are you running? Uh, yeah, this is 50-50. Okay. Yeah, but you're not doing the split weapons, are you? No, I haven't. I haven't got split weapons. I think it's a fantastic idea. But, yeah, you're being somewhat oh. sarcastic. Yeah. But we do have plenty of... Uh... Yeah, I, I've got some tokens, so I was thinking about changing them. Changing the armors or the weapons? Changing the weapons. Dang that! Um, you know, I was I'm upgrading my my third portal here. I got hit, and it's repairing for another five hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you got Jeez. hit what thirteen hours ago? Some like that. Yeah. My bubble yeah. is gone, and my base is half half alive. Well, you hit something in order to do that. No, I didn't. I opted into bounty. Nancy. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I forget the four-hour, uh, four-hour bubble. Yep. One of the joys of bounty. Like, still can't believe they haven't fixed that. Wait, this is a. You're in mastery. This is the second to last. This is the second to last one now. Yeah. Oh, okay. 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 So I'm just trying to clear some of these turrets around the outside first. This one gets a ring on, so you need to drive a bit. This one you can't quite reach, so. Activated that main ship a bit early. Yeah, because you have what one or two in this one. There's two in this one, and you got two buildings to kill. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. It's this one. Okay. I always come in from like three o'clock, so I do this one in a different, different way. I come up from three o'clock, go up and go across, and then I sort of do what appears to be a kamikaze mission on the on the two in order to clean yeah. things up. And when I did accidentally um, um, activate one in one of the runs I did, I, I there's a huge to the bottom left. There's a huge amount of just open water, yeah. and the, the shrouded ships are slow. I retreated and then came back in, you know, just so he was no longer, he was no longer moving. Yeah, that probably is not a bad call for me, to be honest. But I'll, I'll just, I won't retreat. I'll just go around and it would be further enough away from me. Yeah, what do we got left? So I've got to get to that one. I can probably get in the middle without too much damage. Oh, we got another one going. It's all right. I noticed, Kirby, you know, did you ever post in uh, TFC as far as uh, 
matching up some of these to your old uh, raid No, video. because some of these encounters are straight up just not... We haven't think, seen oh, them before. I, I think you skipped a raid. Because I went no, through... There, there, is, there is one that I have never seen before. It's like one that's only I, I think in... You skipped a, I, th I th really think you skipped a raid. It's one that's only in uh, the first two price packs. I mean, it's labeled as number two. It just doesn't exist. I mean, I've never seen this thing before. Well, when I went through your YouTube videos, I only I found three videos with Ravagers. Am I wrong? Um, well, let's see. <laughs> Ravagers are going to be green. It seems like you missed the second half because I was only seeing you with U2 ships. Unless Possible. I missed... I think you missed a... Uh, Either miss the raid or miss the, uh, you know, making. Uh... Yeah, I have a 170, 172, and I just, yeah, I, I guess I don't have the X1 or version of that one. Mm -hmm. You know, it could have been when you were denied work release or something like that. Yeah. You know, all possibilities. Uh, 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 nah, I didn't kill uh, 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 Oh, there you go from the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, it's a rather long winded way, but. Well, no, I was thinking going right, right of my. Yeah, you can loop around. Yeah, I'm just. This one's annoying. I was just trying to minimize damage as best as I could. Now. now we can take that out. There we go. They're unshrouded. <clears throat> okay, they're going to die. There we go. A few ships left now. Oh, the turret. Yeah. At least the turret's easily. We can do that. Yeah. Easily accessible. <sighs> yeah, because I remember this one in the. Uh, this one's annoying where they're in the cloud. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because you need to. Just get out, you know. That's what I, no I normally take them in the beginning and I draw them way up to the north where there's no clouds. Because mm. otherwise they're firing at you and, you know, yada, yada, yada. It should be enough to kill them. Nope, what's left? Oh. No, yeah, no. That's the problem I ran into when I was hitting this is, you know, there was just ships a bunch, you know, it doesn't look like that many ships at the beginning, not like the next one. But there are a fair amount of ships just broken in groups of uh, three or so, two or three, mostly three. <clears throat> So we just do the last one. I think there's a slightly different way you can do it. I think you can run down the bottom and around. So uh... so I think what you can do is sort of go down, if I just stay in here. Well, the, the, the other question that we have on this target: Do they get target? Do they get launched at fourteen minutes, like derpy things, or do you have to do damage to one of the blue? Yeah, Not I would sure. bet you. I, I mean, they start they started moving at fourteen in the bottom left or the top left, rather, on the mini map. Okay. So if we go around here, we can avoid activating that one.
But he's going to be hitting the blue one before. Yeah. So we'll see. Nothing's moving. Nothing's moving. Yeah, yeah. But if he had, yeah. Nothing's if he hadn't moving. hit it. I had 14. If you look at the leftmost dots, they're now they're now they're apart. Now they're moving. You see that? Yeah, yeah. I'm just, yeah. You know, I'm just saying. There could be I'm two. just saying, it moved at 14. Okay. <laughs> well, you know, <laughs> it wasn't that long ago, was it? Never mind. Yeah, you're taking a much more aggressive uh, approach. Okay, they're still coming at you, though. Yeah. I think if I can get back in one of the clouds... Not that cloud. I wish there was a button to push to show all of the arcs at once. Mm. I've said that before, yeah. You see, the, the, they're returning back to where they were now. Mm -hmm. So I can go and just kill... There we go. No, where did he come from? Okay, he should be dead. There we go. There we go. It's because it's very different hitting in a uh, TLC where you, in the raid, you can hit one target again and again and sort of get a rhythm with it. But it's much more difficult if you're, you know, in the TLC to have to wait in order to hit the, you know, hit that target again, you know, most likely a day later, depending on your level of damage. I don't think I can reach these. No. Annoying one. What have I got left over here? A bit over here. Damn, there's still more of them? Well, I killed most of them. Yeah, I, you know. What, there's like seven in this? Looks something like that. Kill one of them, but not the other. Yeah, so they do UAVs at long range and then rockets at short range. Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right, what's left? Just be 
be a couple of these ships, I think. Any more turrets? Oh, yeah. There we go. Is that ship? Yeah. That ship's one of the ones you need to kill. Yeah, and those turrets. Which you probably don't even... Can you sneak in and get them? I, can, well, I probably can get this one. Not the others, I don't think. We try. Oh, yeah, we can okay. get that one. Might be able to get the... Uh, we can probably get the last one from the other side. This is a lot slower than Derpy's, but... Well, yeah, that's the difference. You like to go around and outrange it and try and take the least damage. Mm. I'm like, what the hell? I just wanted to get this uh, get this target get done with. And done with, yeah. But I've obviously got something left down this bottom right corner. Yeah, it's going to be these ones because they're on screen. So, but they don't have the uh, the, the flags. No, it's not those ones. Go further up. We got something else. Yeah, there's got to be. Let me kill that one and then see what's left. It's got to be one with the flag. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I reckon you're right. But let's just press S. Nope. It's off the engine. Nope. No, that's not working. Nope. Go ahead and pan around. Zoom out a little bit. Are you already all zoomed out? Are you zoomed in? Oh, yeah, I think I'm zoomed in at the moment. One second. Okay. Yeah, zoom out. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, is it? Oh, it's a building. It's one of those two. Well, those two sometimes, the one on the right, sometimes still stays yeah. alive when it's actually dead. But the one on the left, that's probably it. Yeah, I think it's that sort of one, yeah. Yeah, we go. Very good. So, what did I have? I think I had an hour 29, so I only got sort of less than 40 minutes from that target. So, not too bad. Yeah. No, it works out. I think it works out well. And, you know. The other thing to think about, if you are, you know, um, coming towards the end or, or whatnot, it is interesting that you could, you know, um, hit a target or two using your uh, the free ones from the FM and then scrap them. Yep. And then move on. There's no loss. You're only gaining the resources. Alrighty. Um, so, to the flame, we talked about that. Uh, what's next? Yep. Sorry, one second. Okay. Got to get on the right slide. There we go. Bounty 49. Um, have we talked enough about that? or? Well, as I, I was saying, I, there's, a, there's only I'm... one quarter master target, which I don't like. And mm -hmm. there's, I think, what, four or five captain ones now. So they're sort of forcing you towards the high-end targets. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I, I hit a few 165s. Um, two Sky Sabres, three Abominations. Even if you lose the entire fleet, if you have none of the Invader armor or none of the Tier 9 Invader armor and no D5 EVs, the repair time is less than half an hour. If you're if each ship is only seventy five percent damaged, it's instant base repair. Um, I have three U one abominations and two sky sabers. You could do it with probably three ships, almost any of them. Um, but I've been hitting a few of those. It's not. I mean, it's bounty. It's still grindy. Yeah. 
Which one's that? The 165? 165. 165. Yeah, um, okay. We can do a few other targets. That's my favorite so far. Um, but find it in the locator is really nice. I don't have too much more to say about it. The um, mutator seems really powerful. Yeah, next slide. We talked about this some on Wednesday as well, but... Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, does it feel right. like it should have come out with something else, uh, you know, to counter it? Well, I'd, maybe. I'd, I'd, I mean, I we think, got more defense stuff. Yeah, I think we were the the meta was probably swung towards defense anyway at the moment. Mm. Yeah. So this probably swings it quite hard the other way. Mm -hmm. You're gonna have to be pretty clever to to stop this, but. Although a 27 day build time means kicks, I made a lot of money this weekend. Absolutely, because the one that hit me was within about four hours of it being available. So, yep. <laughs> so we'll see how strong you... it is in, in uh, that long. Um, yeah. I have to make the decision about what CIC to go for. I, even though I mostly run abomination fleets, I hear it, I see from people hitting my base the exterminator fleet's really strong. So, I might be going that route. I haven't decided. I've got about another 12 hours. 17 hours off to the side. Oh, and, and how, um, I think on the Wednesday show, somebody's saying it was like seven or eight hours to refit the days. I'm mean, I mean, sorry, seven, eight seven, days. Or, seven or eight. days. Days, yep. yeah. Days. To... There's a day and a half to build the blank ship. Yeah. But then about seven days to uh, fit the CIC. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. Not a lot of flexibility there. Nope, which is why you can get three of them. Yep, and spend yeah. ninety days building flags. <laughs> so, okay. Um, anything more on bounty or anything else you guys want to talk about? Nope. I guess uh, we mentioned the freebie that we got given, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. In regards to the eight days of. Eight uh, days. Of uh, a swallowtail, two more days of the uh, menacing swallowtail, which you know, I'm still not comfortable saying. Yeah. Um, and then we have, uh, because of the of the spawning issue they had in the originally in Bounty, um, for those people that are having issues with the uh, to the flame, um, we got five four hour. Uh, uh, repair tokens and some you know if you're participating in bounty you also got 5,000 bounty points and there was one more thing what was it uh, repair, repair tokens did you eight, oh no crew, crew yeah. chest crew, crew, crew chest, chest that's it yeah crew oh chest. yeah I have two demo squads out of that. I'm above I have more than 50 crews now and more than 50 of them are gold and silver very nice so, um, so yeah, with so save your FM tokens this week and next week, or you can use them next week to build your menace in. And then my advice would be to instant build that with the tokens you got from the FM and that, and then yep. upgrade it to U two before the raid, because that's where you get your extra deflections, uh, your extra defense from. The word looking yeah. for is survival. Yeah, survival, sorry. Yep, so. yep. That's good. So is there an obvious defense against the mutator? What yeah, I guess twenty eight day bubble. <laughs> How many day bubble? Twenty eight. Oh, okay. All right. Did, did they give us a token for that? I wish. Yeah. Um oh, did you want this, to mention well, this is why a lot of people don't participate? in pvp because by the time that you slow build it it's irrelevant yep you know it's pretty much. Like, you know, oh, an old story you know it's not i'm not breaking news here and uh you know between that and the four hour bounty uh bubble uh it discourages uh, you know i don't really know what the fix is i know what the fix is with bounty but you know as far as um, I'm sure they're making, you know, I'm sure they're making money over the fact that this is, uh, 
you know, everybody knows that this mutator is only going to be really relevant at the highest level for seven to 12 days. And then its value is going to decrease greatly. Uh, but do you think that's the case? We've got nothing coming out that's immediately going to negate this. That's what we know of. I mean, I don't know. I mean, well, we've got the okay, ice okay, coming well, out. Okay, twenty-one days. 21 yeah, days. yeah, it's probably another, probably till the next raid or the next pillage or something like that, where we get something else. But yeah. maybe next bounty. But um, the ice wall will obviously help a little bit, but it's going to be similar, just with a different. I'm assuming just with a different um, issue to the firewall. No. Um. Well, um, the links there in case anyone wants to join the after show or or whatnot. Um, the only thing, uh, so the only other thing, Hefe, was those. Sure. Just, did you just want to mention the offers that there was a couple of good offers in there? If uh, yeah, yeah. There was. Uh, you want to uh, screen share? Uh, there was one that I. Or, there was a couple that I found interesting. I think it was two, maybe three. Um, that, you know, because they made a big deal out of it, that they were, you know, there were some crazy good offers. And so, um, number two is the one that I found most interesting, but I don't, you know, it really depends on how you're building your ships. Um, So your offer, go to offer, t is it offer two? Yeah, it might. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for 50 gold, you can get four Swallowtail and then one. So um, five days of build tokens for 50 gold. Although, to be yeah. honest, I probably am going to have too many regular build tokens in any case. Yeah, I don't think yeah, you yeah, necessarily yeah, need the regular yeah, yeah. ones. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to have what I was 16. Sitting at. Regular swap to build tokens, which I need to use to build one ship. Yeah, yeah. I, I, that's what I was hinting at because they sort of, when they drop the eight, when they drop the eight and two, they sort of, you know, took a lot of value away from this. Yeah. And I agree with you completely. Um, the next one is the garrison, which I think is. Uh, 13, was it? Or was it this one? No, that one's not as good. This one. There we go. There's two of these. The garrison. And if your name, if your name is TSM, you can stock up on these guys till they're tier eleven. Yeah. This is a long-term investment. This is for Lionfish Two, the next version. You can buy. Um, you know, you, you know, you're basically it's half price. You get the extra armor. You can you can buy five of each one with different armors in each one. So you can get uh, you can get twenty days of garrison build tokens at half price. Uh, beyond that, did you you know, Derpy? Did you see any sort of value buys in there? I didn't really look too closely. Okay. But, um, there okay. were some portal upgrade tokens build tokens which weren't yeah, that, a very good deal but they exist so yeah i don't think they were yeah they weren't good, were they? Yeah. yeah so you had two days so ten, these were half days price, of build tokens for yeah, 25 dollars half, half price effectively and then there was these ones yeah. 20 and days how, for 30 dollars so that one's the better one obviously but yeah so well, that's about it for the deals i think yeah unless anybody out there has found any that are much more interesting but uh all right the links in the right hand side in case you want to join the after show uh we'll be back on wednesday when we'll be discussing pillage and whatnot and uh thank you all for showing up and um yeah, yeah, thanks, Lego. And uh, hopefully you have better luck with your TLC. And don't have 18 hours of damage, but uh, everybody take care, and we will see you on Wednesday. See you all.
See ya. Later, people.